What is up Shane Squad? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. So it's been a while since I picked up the camera. And I mean, the last time I picked up the camera is when we went to the Columbus. And I still haven't got to edit those videos. I'm actually going to try to edit them tonight. But today I'm deciding to ride my bike over to Huntington. Find things to look at. One, clear my mind. Two, trying to get back in the habit of vlogging for you guys. I'm at 1,000. 800 subscribers even though I might just you know lose one subscriber and go back down to 700 something I'm almost a 2k so if you are watching this and you still have not yet joined the Shane squad make sure to join right now by subscribing you know you know you want to join the Shane squad because the Shane squad is going to be the best squad on here on YouTube I might not be the best right now and slacking mentally physically I'm going to become the best I could be and my best has yet to come so if you have not joined yet make sure to join because we're going to be going on to tons of adventures once you see we went to Columbus but I also am practicing on riding my bike places because I actually want to take a bike trip I have no idea yet where I want to ride my bike to but taking a trip of riding my bike an adventure on just riding my bike no car no bus no nothing just riding my bike but first I have to wait so I get stuff that I need. One, I need to get a waterproofed backpack just in case it starts raining. And I want to find this thing that you connect to the back of your bike. It's kind of like a wagon, but it's not a wagon. It's just a, a thing that you pull. And I could put my stuff, like my clothes and everything into it instead of having it all holding onto my back. I decided to come out here, start the vlog. I'm letting my phone charge up a little bit and then I'll be heading off. You guys are going to come along with me. I won't be able to vlog while I'm riding my bike. It's kind of like driving and texting. You can't do it. And it's impossible on a bike, especially if I'm mostly going to be going downhill. Lately, the heat has been crazy. I've been having heat warnings. I want to be way too hot, you know, to try to take water, try to cool off. I'm the person that kind of just takes advantage of this warm weather, really warm weather, and just go do stuff. I'm just going to spray down myself with water before I leave with the water hose. And then we'll get this day started. So I'm getting ready to leave. I just poured my, like, the water hose all over me so that way I cooled down. And you guys are going to go in my backpack. So I made it to the bridge. Sign Huntington Proctorville. I'm going to actually walk across it because I don't like riding my bike because I don't trust people. So I'm just going to have my camera on just in case something happens. And plus to show you guys a view of going across this bridge. This is the Frank Gunner Gatsaki Memorial Bridge, Ohio River. I do tell you guys, if you're going to ride out in this heat or walking or anything, I really suggest you to bring water, to douse yourself in water, because it's hot, really hot. It's so pretty. It's the area that we went and explored for those abandoned buildings for the barges and stuff. Gosh, look at all those old cars down there. I'm not even fully on the bridge yet, which is insane. And somebody honked at me. I have no idea who they were. So if you're watching this and that was you, hi. I just realized there's a path that goes back there to the river. Hello, whoever you are. You get ready to get onto the bridge, like fully. The only thing scary about this, the bridge is so tiny. can just come and sideswipe me. As you can tell, like, look how close, look how beautiful this is. Ooh, I'm so tempted to just jump into the water because I bet the water feels so amazing right now. I actually think that path leads to that barge that I wanted to explore. Check out that old barge. I most definitely need to go explore that. But look how amazing this water looks. It's like green but blue at the same time. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Ah, now I'm excited to go explore that. Ah! So the next video, that's what I want to do is go explore that right there, that barge. So I'm just going to do this one and talk to help me pass the time of getting across this bridge. Because it's actually really scary because, like I said, how tiny it is. Sorry if this is a weird 
an angle and I was ugly and walking on a bridge and it's scary. I always wanted to walk on this part of the bridge. On the edge. Whoa, look how cool. It's a really pretty view. I dropped my phone. It fell out of my pocket. Oh, it didn't bust. That's a good thing. I decided to get on my bike and just ride it the rest of the way. My phone fell out of my pocket. I made it. I made it safely across the bridge. So it looks like there's also a place underneath this part of the bridge that you can go down and look at the river. Whew, so I'm almost in Huntington. Once I get around this curve, I'll be directly into Huntington. So I made it into Huntington. And normally, I take my bike and I ride on that side. Well, this time I'm thinking about going across the street and riding on the this side of the road. Just to see a different view. Yeah, I'm normally riding on that side, but I decided to ride on this side. Just to see if there's anything different on this side to look at. I mean, I said I wasn't going to video myself while riding a bike, but I'm not on nothing really dangerous. Riding on the sidewalk. Even though it's supposed to be supposedly illegal to ride your bike on the sidewalk, you're supposed to ride your bike on the road. But it feels less dangerous to ride on the sidewalk than on the road. Missing it, the helicopter. It went behind a tree. Ah, no! I wanted to see the heli. Show you guys the helicopter. I couldn't get to my camera in time because I put my camera back in my backpack. Ugh. I'm always missing cool things. I decided to stop at this abandoned house, sit here and take a little break. I'm almost to Pullman. Once I get to Pullman, I have to connect to Wi-Fi so I can tell everybody I made it to Huntington. Stop the gas station grabbed a drink because I did bring two waters with me and I drank every one of them. I decided to just stop and grab me Mountain Dew. It's so weird. When I drank those two waters, I was starting to feel I was tired and I wasn't getting enough energy or enough to drink when I was drinking the water. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to stop and grab me a Mountain Dew. Well, since I've been drinking this Mountain Dew, I feel more energetic. Like I just got more energy. It's so weird because it seems like it would be the opposite drink water you would feel more energized instead of soda I don't know it's so confusing hardly ever drink water I hate drinking water even though everybody's like oh you need to drink water and it's healthy and everything but I hate water if I had to drink it I would drink it but I just hate drinking water because it's it's just it makes me sick to my stomach it's hard to explain sitting at this house it looks like they tried to board it up where nobody could look inside but Eventually, I'm going to explore this house. I'm over here in Pullman. I sat down for a little bit and rest. It looks like it's, there's a storm cloud right there, like it's going to rain. I have an idea. I had a whole point of why I came down here to Huntington. As you guys know, those boats that they have around here in Huntington, I actually wanted to grab photos of those, like updated pictures, because I think I lost them. Plus, they put new ones out. So I'm going to go around, get pictures of them. And there's another place I want to go but I just have to figure out how to get to it. Look at this boat. This is a Paisley Power. It's cute. It did have a boat right here and they removed it. Oh, there's one down there. Down here and take a photo of it. It looks like a big rain cloud, but oh well. Rain ain't gonna hurt. Sure, game stop. This one actually looks pretty cool. See, I think I have this one in a vlog before but I don't know if I actually took a photo of it. Oh, I can't believe they took that one away. I'm pretty sure I have a photo of it, so I'll have to pull it up for you guys and show you. I think they removed it because a lot of people were complaining about it that it was like racist or something like that. I don't know. There's this one. This one's all colorful and stuff. Huh? Nah, I don't smoke. Sorry. Two more of these boats down this way. Yeah, I see them. So some of them they changed, and then the other ones actually are the same. This one's full of moss. 
I like that clock, how old it looks. Like all fancy. It sucks because I can't grab photos of every time because there's always people around it. And I don't want to be like weird. This one's like a pirate. Like a pirate ship. The other area that I want to go besides getting trying to get all these boats is... I think they're called frap houses, but there's tons of them. But there's this huge fire truck that sits in front of the houses. And I actually want to go check it out, take some pictures of it. Because I've never seen it up close. I just got to figure out what road it is on. I honestly think one up that way. Okay, I have no idea if I'm on the right road or not. But I'm pretty sure I am. I think if I ride down here, it should be on that side. So I might have to get on that side instead of this side. Big, huge church I want to go explore inside just to see what it looks like on the inside. In that church, that church actually looks really cool too. This is the right way because I see it. I see the fire truck right up here. So I'm not lost. These sidewalks, oh my gosh, Huntington needs to fix their sidewalks. Fix your sidewalks, Huntington. Make a road for bikes to ride on. All right, nobody's coming. Oh, it's right down the road from the bus station, so I could just went to the bus station. But there's all kinds of these frap houses. I'm pretty sure that's what they are, I don't know. I just wanna get some photos of this fire truck and a couple of these houses. Like, look how bad these sidewalks are. I mean, they're not as bad as they normally are, but I have to get over on that side. Now, for the fun part, getting across this road without getting ran over. We're gonna go play live Frogger. Except I'm not actually jumping out into traffic. Anybody who lives in Huntington and knows exactly what these houses are, comment down below and tell me, because I would love to know. I think they look pretty cool. There's a flag. Look how cool this fire truck looks. Oh gosh, they busted out the window. Look at that. It's like they were beating on it. Ever since I've been in Huntington, 18, I've always seen this here. So it's been here for quite a while. And I'm now 28 years old. What it looks like on the inside. I can't really see because I'm short. That's so cool though. Oh, the door's open on this side. There's tons of beads, glass everywhere. So, does college people just come here, have a party, and tear up the fire truck or what? See, this one has big letters of K A. Kappa Alpha Order has the American flag in the front and then there's like a little cannon. It's pretty cool. And that one's Alpha Tau Omega. There's another one over there. It says E A E. I'm guessing uh, maybe all these houses right here are college houses that people come and have just parties and but now I can officially say that I went to and actually checked out the fire truck and I got photos of it so if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram you can follow me at Shane Smith camera well I guess this is going to try to swarm or something because the wind's picking up but you see the clouds I think I'm gonna go ahead home try to head back home and maybe just come another day get a ride here and walk around and get every boat there is there's actually a couple right here so i can go ahead and show you guys these ones and grab photos of it this one it's river wildlife waterways Ooh, that one has a deer on it that one's really pretty heading back home i seen these flowers and look how pretty they are like look at those they are so beautiful Ooh, those ones are bright orange uh, miraculously right in front of Marshall, part of Marshall. Still have a long ways to go.